Hey, my name is Dustin DeYoung, and I am the Connections Pastor here at New Life. And today we're in day 11 of our Advent devotional, talking about the branch of Jesse. Now, each one of us comes from a family. And every single one of us uh, knows something or maybe a lot about our families. Some of us like our families. Some of us have a hard time with families. But every single one of us is a part of a family. And today we're going to be talking about Jesse's family. We're going to be talking about how within Jesse's family tree came the second king and the most famous king of Israel uh, that came before King Jesus. So here comes uh, Samuel, the prophet of Israel, and he's already anointed one king, but now there's a second king who's going to be anointed, even though Saul is still the reigning king of Israel. And he comes to Jesse's house. And in that time, he, he starts with the oldest son thinking that God's going to use the oldest son, kind of like how uh, Saul was the oldest and he was the strongest and the tallest and the best looking and all that. But actually, God likes to use the least likely, which is really good news for a lot of us because we feel like we're outsiders. We feel like maybe we're on the on the fringes of our family or on the fringes of, um, of, of even God's usefulness. And that's okay because God actually enjoys using the least likely. I'm the youngest of four and I always felt like I didn't have a whole lot of influence. I didn't have a lot of power. I didn't have a lot um, uh, of leadership to offer. But God actually delights in using those kinds of people in his story. And that's exactly what he did through boy David eventually turning into King David as well. And as we think about our own families as well, I want you to consider how God wants to use you and he wants to use your family for the sake of his kingdom. And maybe you're thinking to yourself, no, not, not my family. Um, but that's okay because actually, even though you might be surprised on how God might use you and your family, God, it, even though you might be surprised, God's not. God, he knows exactly where you're from. He knows exactly where you're going and he knows exactly how he wants to use you and your family as well. See, from this lowly shepherd boy, David, who turned into King David, came ultimately out of that King Jesus, a lowly little baby. And how is a lowly little baby going to affect this world? Well, we're here 2,000 years later still talking about that. And there's no telling how God wants to use you, your family as well, especially in this time of Advent as we look forward to it with great anticipation what God's going to do. Uh, what God's already done, we get to celebrate that as well as we look forward to what he wants to do through our lives as well. So as we look forward, I want you to think with great anticipation how God might use you, your family, and how he wants to change the world with the very least likely people. I pray that you would have a blessed uh, Christmas and Advent season and that you would be open to how God wants to use you in this time.